Little Britain turns 20 today. Jesus. For those not in the know because you're not British or are too young to have seen the show in its heyday but are still old enough to have a YouTube account, Little Britain was a sketch comedy radio series by Matt Lucas and David Walliams that then transitioned to television in February 2003. Trust me, it was huge back in the early 2000s. And that time frame should tell you exactly whether or not the humour is for you. While a lot of the show's comedy ranges from repetitive to... Um, there is one major recurring character that I believe not only still holds up, but has only grown more powerful as a piece of satire in the two decades since the show concluded. And that character is Daffod Thomas. Daffod's core concept is that he is the self-proclaimed only gay in the village. The joke, however, is that he is not. Homosexuality is near universal in his village, with most villagers being revealed to have at least indulged in some bum fun, if not outright being gay. Even Daffod's brother and best friend are gay, and Daffod continues to use his moniker long after learning this. Daffod was always the butt of the joke, but that joke was never lol gay, beyond the use of over-the-top flamboyance for comic effect and the odd insult he gets for his general demeanour. And even then, I think it's only other gay people who use those words. Daffod's sketches were largely just about him being delusional or desperate enough to deny that anyone else was gay to satisfy his own ego, while also being totally ignorant of the fact that so many people around him were also gay, no matter how blatant. Gay Alid is not gay! He's comically flamboyant in his dress sense, while simultaneously living out the fantasy of being some sort of rebel fighting against systematic bigotry that doesn't even exist in his community. Morning, David. Gay rights now! He goes out of his way to avoid very easy opportunities to indulge in sexual acts because that would mean admitting he's not special just for being gay. There's loads of gay guys in London. You won't feel the only gay in the village anymore. No? No! It'll be brilliant! He expects, or rather hopes, to be ostracised by his parents when he comes out, but they've known for a long time due to his total lack of subtlety, and they're nothing but supportive. So you're not gonna disown me or cast me asunder? Hey! The same goes for every single other person he ever interacts with. Even those that aren't gay or bi curious themselves are shown as nothing but accepting of it. What that boy needs is a nice big cock up his ass. Not a single sketch ever presents Daffod facing any sort of bigotry for his orientation. In fact, the only character to ever display such abhorrent behaviour in these sketches is Daffod himself. The sketches where he learns about his brother and best friend are the prime examples of this. In the former, his brother comes out to him as gay and seeks his advice on how to come out to their parents. Daffod then proceeds to try and make his brother suppress this side of him, or at least to be bisexual instead. After all, Daffod can't well claim to be the only gay in the village when his own brother is openly gay too. And in the latter... You are not a gay! I am! No, I am the gay in this village! And then there's his numerous disparaging comments surrounding lesbians, which he says in front of his best friend at her own wedding party to her wife. Well, you can't be bringing up kids, it's not right! Sorry, I was talking to the lesbians. What? I am a lesbian. Well, I just thought it was the ones who couldn't get boyfriends. And to be clear, Daffod is absolutely into men. One sketch confirms his attraction to this one blacksmith fella so he's not faking it for attention. He is gay, but he's intolerant of other gays unless they're hot. And, of course, as soon as anyone takes umbrage with his antics, be it his own bigotry or his general lack of consideration for other people, he throws up that, oh, because I'm gay, defence, like the little rat he is. Oh, I can't lift it, I'm gay. Give it here, you big puff. My own mother rejects me, simply for the crime of wanting men's torches in my bum bum. <laughs> but why do I say that Daffod's concept has aged like wine rather than the milk of many of his contemporaries? Because in the internet age, it's become easier and easier to spot real-life Daffod Thomases. The kind of person who is in some way different from the presumed cis white hetero male norm and chooses to make that aspect of themselves the very core of their identity. It's not enough that he's gay, he must also go out of his way to advertise and almost flaunt that fact. He wants to live out his twisted persecution complex, seeing himself as some sort of outcast, banished from society for being different, despite his community being far more accepting than he expects or likes. Far more accepting than he is, being genuinely more disgusting and bigoted than anyone else surrounding him, because being gay isn't just a part of who he is. It's not just all of who he is. It's what, in his eyes, makes him special. And there are so, so many people who act just just like him in the real world. Obviously, I'm not suggesting that those people are any kind of majority, which I need to specify so that the people as oblivious as Daffod don't get the wrong idea. Says in here, boy George is a gay. What I'm saying is that either such people have become more common in recent years, or the proliferation of social media has simply made them far easier to find. Not that you have to look hard to find them, given how loud and obnoxious they are. And that's why Daffod Thomas is the most relevant and well-aged character in Little Britain, even if this video itself may not be as relevant as it was two years ago when I came up with the concept and wrote off all the DVDs I bought on my taxes, forcing me to make this eventually.
If you liked this video, why not subscribe and support me on Patreon like these fine people here? If not, then make sure to share it with your enemies so they can suffer along with you.